I just got some awesome lightning on video. Did you? Goobs, we got hail coming, big hail. Oh, I can hear that on the trucks. Look at it, it's like snow. Look at the dark clouds. FSC Speed Shop. Wanted to make this video real quick so I wanted to show you the damage done by that hailstorm. There is an aftermath to it. Um, I made the joke initially that we were going to have a major insurance claim, but it was pretty obvious to most that we probably were. We do. Here's what's the problem. Initially, after the last video, I had wiped the hood clean on my truck here and it was wet and, well, the damage was pretty well hidden in the droplets, even in Jen's car. Well, a close look that don't look all that bad. But I wanted to touch base on something. This is aluminum. So is this. On the Mercedes, that's steel. This here is steel. Up top, it's aluminum. This car, I don't know what it weighs. It's a luxury car slash sports car. It's a sporty little fun thing. So I can understand the weight reduction on a car like this. This, on the other hand, according to the internet, Hemi powered 2500 crew cab, long bed, weighs in just under 7,000 pounds. Now, I'm not dressed like I normally am because I went for a nice long jog with my son today. I'm trying to lose some weight. But I'm not exactly going to go, look at me, I'm fit and trim and pretty and all that crap because I probably lost a quarter pound. That's like this truck shaving a couple of hundred pounds. Why is that aluminum? Now here's my son's 1998 Dodge second gen. 2500 V10 steel. Obviously not perfect, but no hail damage. Go back to the video you see. This truck was parked in front of mine. No damage, in my opinion, destroyed. Let's show you. Now it's not the easiest thing to see. The hood on the Mercedes didn't really fare all that bad. It was parked about a mile away from here. There was actually shelter from a building. A little dimple right there. I don't know if the camera picks it up or not. Yeah, right there a little bit. Right next to the sun right there. A few little dimples on the hood. Some more here. Another one here. Camera don't pick it up worth the crap. But it's got little dimples all over the place. Even on the roof. It's steel. But the roof's got a couple dimples. But nothing major. One thing that was very noticeable though. See these were the roof rack would be if it had a roof rack on the other side one's missing we found it next to the car cracked in half so that a piece of hail literally hit it broke it and it fell off the car and it was next to the car with the trunk i don't know how well you can see it in the video the trunk's got a lot of dimples too but not too terrible It's obviously dirty too. Although it was washed a couple days ago. That's our car. Now the truck. Like you can see him real bad in the with the phone. See him right there in the right there in the glare from the sign. Mm -hmm. All up on the top. Why Dodge? Why? Now Matt thought he found a couple in the quarter panel. More of a glancing blow. I think it's on the other side or maybe over here. I don't really remember. 
Now that was mine. Bumped it with a kayak. I see it already. It's right here. But that's so tiny. I probably wouldn't even address it. Heck. But that's the other thing too. These tailgates. This I tapped it. With a kayak. This is aluminum. I tapped it with a kayak. There's a little dimple in here. Right here. I don't even know how that got there. See how the center collapsed right here? That's from the weight of a Harley Davidson. Really? I think that's pathetic. But now, let's go to the roof. Bunch of little dimples all over the roof too. This is aluminum. This is steel separated here. I believe it's glued. Tomorrow this truck goes in along with the car to go get an inspection over at Bergstrom's where I bought both cars. The truck and the car are both actually from Bergstrom. It's a local dealer here in Wisconsin. Anyway, they're gonna go in tomorrow, get inspected, and then I'll have to deal with the insurance company to determine panel replacement or PDR, paintless dent repair. To me, this hood on a truck, I'm sure it's been worse. I'm sure some of you have seen worse. To me, just replace the hood. There's got to be 100 dimples in this hood. The roof, like same. Got to be at least 100 of them on there. But changing out that roof has got to be a big job. Um, but you don't see it from standing down here. So I, I don't know. The car, on the other hand, the car didn't get beat up so bad. But I, I, in truth, I don't really know what I want to do. Um, we'll find out. But I just want to show you guys the aftermath. Now, I will show you this, though. Granted. This thing hasn't seen wax probably since it was built, but there's no dents, dimples. I mean, there is some damage from just being old, being well used, but there's no damage on a truck from the hail. From rubbing my hand on it, from what I learned from auto class in school, I don't feel anything other than just the paint being bad. I don't feel a, a decrease in the level. I don't feel any low spots. Yeah, so even his roof, same thing. Now, bear in mind, this truck is not a Wisconsin truck. I have bought it for him out in Idaho on my other channel, the Now FSC Trucking. I did a vlog picking up this truck. I'll put a link in description. I bought this truck in Idaho because it never saw road salt until after we bought it. But it's solid. There's no rust on it. It's not a rusty pile. But it is a second gen Dodge with, uh, you know, your typical second gen dashboard problems. Either way. All right, boys and girls. Well, basically, that's it. I wanted to show you the aftermath of that horrific hailstorm. Dodge, why in the world are you making aluminum body panels? Stop. Ford started that nonsense years ago, and it's a joke, okay? Antennas get ripped off, door handles get ripped off. You lean on it, they bend them. That's ridiculous, guys. Stop. It's a big, fat, heavy truck. Make it out of steel and stop being stupid.